Bitcoin is sinking again this morning. Take a look. It fell below $18,000 over the weekend, and it is currently now at 20520 With all eyes on crypto, our next guests are using the digital currency to help give back to America's greatest heroes. Founded by a group including several former Navy SEALs, Challenge Coin is the first ever true military cryptocurrency. 4% of every Challenge Coin transactions goes to, toward military charities to aid veterans, and we are so grateful for them. Joining me right now is former SEAL Team Six member who killed Osama bin Laden and Challenge Coin founder Rob O'Neill. Also with us is In Russ We Trust Crypto.com CEO Russ Davis. Rob, Russ, great to have you. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you so Thank much you for joining us. What an interesting idea. Tell me more about Challenge Coin and and what inspired you first, Rob? Well, the inspiration we think um, cryptocurrency is is the future uh, for uh, long term investment. And what inspired us is the history of Challenge Coins in the military. Uh, and there's a, lo a lot of differing uh, speculation on how it happened, but it kind of goes back to uh, Emperor Maximus, the Roman Empire. He would pay both uh, legionnaires and mercenaries in coins. Uh, and the better they did, the more gallantry they showed, the more coins they would get. It went to World War I with aviators. There was a rich dude that was uh, commanding a unit, and he made uh, bronze coins for his guys. One guy was shot down behind German lines, and they took everything except his clothes. Wow. He had a coin in his pocket. They didn't find it. He escaped the Germans, got over the French lines. They thought he was a spy. And when they were searching him, they found the coin with his unit, and he got returned. Wow. And then it, it goes up to, uh, you know, World <laughs> War II. Um, uh, in, in Vietnam, uh, the first special forces group would carry them because they were working in Southeast Asia, Southwest Asia, and a lot of covert stuff, so they weren't recognized with f for medals because they're doing covert stuff with the CIA. So they made them coins, uh, first special forces group with a sword and a green beret, the sword up meaning they're ready for action. That is incredible. And, and now it's, uh, all, all units have them, uh, first responders have them. I got one from Home Depot. People have them. I, I have, <laughs> I I have I have one from President Obama, Vice President Biden at the time after the bin Laden raid. They presented them to us. Wow. And, uh, you know, at a certain point for the challenge coin crypto, we are going to make our own coin so people can have a physical challenge coin from us. Yeah. Does it does it complicate things, Russ, that the crypto market has been plummeting? You got Bitcoin below 18,000 over the weekend? Well, below 18,000, think about six years ago, below 18,000, they would have been like, no, it would have never gotten to 18,000. Yeah. So even, you know, Anybody who's been in the crypto market for this long knows that we're still up so much money and it's going to bounce back. So, so uh, tell me what the value is of these coins. You brought in coins. These, these are not the actual coins, though. No, these no. are not the coins. These are just examples of Challenge Coin. This is my own uh, Robert J. O'Neill coin. I brought one of those in. Uh, one from SEAL Team 6, the unit awesome. that uh, took out Bin Laden, and we have a, a nickname right there. Oh my and then, God. of course, I had to bring my you know, uh, Armed Forces Brewing Company. We make coins. Like I said, everyone makes <laughs> coins. That's yeah. just what they look like, and we'll give them a physical coin once we get them out and determine the, with the, a certain amount that people invest. And you know, obviously, 4% goes back to certain uh, foundations. Which is, such a, which is such a nice thing. But, I mean, how do you derive value from this coin? Ross, um, tell us. Know, a cryptocurrency is just like any store of value. It doesn't have to be a currency. We call it crypto. So so what's a baseball card worth to you? Um, you know, if it's valuable to you and people want to pay for it, then that's what the value is. And uh, with cryptocurrency, if you're giving back to the military, that's a use case. That's tangibility. I mean, uh, functionality, not tangibility. But um, you know, it uh, it just it it's gives, fungible. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, 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 Rob, I think it's such a good idea to just focus on the military. Everybody wants to give back to the military, thank our veterans, but also have a way to, because there's a debate on where the value is in these coins. Yeah, there, there is a debate. But when people invest, we are giving back to my, my foundation, Special Operators Transition Foundation, where we transition special operators to the private sector, and not just, uh, not just the vets, but their families, second careers. Yesterday, we actually hit number uh, the 366 families uh, transition to the private sector. So someone will go to that. We have the uh, um, SEAL Future Foundation, same thing. We uh, Even the Navy SEAL Museum in Fort Pierce, Florida, where the actual lifeboat from where we rescued Captain Richard Phillips is. And if you want to learn the history of the SEAL teams, we're donating to that. We wow, have foundations that uh, help the reefs, uh, t teach veterans how to scuba dive, and actually doing stuff other than making climate change regulations, actually trying to clean the ocean, stuff like that. SEAL Team 6, I'm in awe of you and SEAL and the, and the team. Thank you so much. You're out with a new book, The Way Forward, Master your life's toughest battles and create your lasting legacy. And boy, do you know how to do that. Well, we're working on it. Every Thank day, every so day is a, a blessing. Rob, congratulations. <laughs> thanks, Russ, thanks very much. Congrats to you. Good to Thank see you, you both. Good to see you too. Thank you, gentlemen.